Welcome to Patriot Network TV. We want to talk real quickly today about immigration. The U.S. federal government has entered into a lawsuit against the state of Arizona. In other words, the U.S. federal government, led by President Obama and Attorney General Holder, instead of siding with U.S. citizens, have cited their brief with the country of Mexico. On one side, we have the citizens of the state of Arizona, including great Americans like Sheriff Paul Babot, who is being threatened by cartel, by the Mexican drug cartel with execution. That's who's on one side of this. On the other side is Obama, Holder, and Mexico. The President of the United States, in a move that is absolutely without precedent in the history of our nation, has sided with a foreign government against a U.S. state. Let that sink in. In the filing of briefs, Mexico has filed an amicus curiae, a friend of the court brief, claiming that the Arizona statute is racist and unconstitutional and yada, yada, yada. But what's most alarming and upsetting to me is that the country, the United States of America, their chief duties are what? First and foremost, protect the citizens of America from foreign criminal invaders. And instead of doing that, they are suing us. I take this personally. SB 1070 is taken in large part from 8 USC 1304 CD&E. If you go to the U.S. Code, if you go to 8 U.S. Code 1304 and look at paragraph C, D, E, and F, you'll find the majority of SB 1070 right there. It's federal law. It's been federal law since 1940 for attempting to enforce the federal law, which the U.S. federal government has refused to do. We are being sued by the U.S. federal government. Mr. Obama is on the side of the Mexican drug cartels, the human traffickers, the kidnappers, and the drug criminals from Mexico, Central, and South America. That's whose side he has taken against the good, decent, law-abiding citizens of the state of Arizona. Sheriff Babo is in a position where he has been threatened. He has been informed by the DEA, the Border Patrol, ATF, and other intelligence gathering law enforcement agencies that there are credible threats against his life. He's been marked for assassination by the Mexican drug cartels. And President Obama, instead of saying, look, I'm the chief law enforcement officer, I'm the chief executive officer, Mr. Holder, instead of saying, I'm the chief law enforcement officer in America, and I will not let foreign countries, drug cartels, threaten my sheriffs. I won't have this. By God, this won't stand. Instead of saying that, they're suing us, suing us, suing me for saying I want the federal law enforced. If you're not mad about this, you're just not paying attention. If you are listening to this video, and I hope people in faraway places like, say, New York, Vermont, and Maine are listening, because if you're listening, I want you to understand this is as much an attack on you as it is on the citizens of Arizona. Go online, get a copy of SB 1070, read it. There is nothing in that law that is racist or sexist or anything else. It is a law that says per 8 U.S.C. 1304 paragraph C, D, E, and F that if you are a foreign national legally in the United States, you must always have your identification with you. And if in the course of a regular stop, a traffic stop, a criminal in investigation, whatever it is, if in that process we ask someone, show us your identification, and that identification doesn't indicate that you are legally in the United States, we can process you to get you out of the United States. Fully one-third of the prisoners in Arizona prisons are felons from Mexico. Let that sink in. One-third of the cost of our prisons is foreign felons because the U.S. federal government won't do their job. For the first time in the history of this country, the President of the United States has taken the side of the drug cartels against the law-abiding citizens of a state. I'm begging you, America, come to our aid. Think this through. You're next. If you don't stand up and fight, when they came 
for the Jews. I didn't say anything because I wasn't a Jew. When they came for the Poles, I didn't say anything. I wasn't a Pole. When they finally came to, for the doctors and I screamed out for help, there was no one left to scream to. Stand up and fight now. That's the message.